The best labor and birthing positions for you and baby. Delivering a baby is hard work and more than a little uncomfortable. Make it easier on you both with these positions. Here's a primer on some of the best labor and birthing positions to help you prepare for the big day. Best labor positions. Labor positions are used during the labor process to help ease discomfort, move the baby down through the pelvis and encourage optimal fetal positioning. 1. The hands and knees position. Takes pressure off the spine, easing back pain. May help boost baby's oxygen level. 2. The sitting position. Good for resting. Can still be used with a fetal monitoring machine. Sitting on a toilet relaxes the perineum, which can help reduce tearing. 3. Birthing ball positions. Can help move baby into a favorable birthing position. Relieves back pressure. Birthing ball labor positions can help encourage dilation and move baby deeper into the pelvis. 4. The squatting position. Helps open the pelvis. Gives baby room to maneuver as they head toward the birth canal. 5. The side lying position. Helps get oxygen to baby. Can be used if you have high blood pressure. Makes it easier to relax during contractions. 6. The upright position. Relieves backaches. Can make contractions less painful. Encourages baby to move deeper into the birth canal. 7. The lunging position. Helps baby rotate or descend. Opens the pelvis, giving baby more room. 8. The stair climbing position. Opens pelvis, allowing baby to drop farther and push on the cervix. Helps baby rotate and get into a better birthing position. Best birthing positions. You've made it through the first stages of labor congrats. Now it's time to switch things up and assume birthing positions for the final stretch. Birthing positions are used to push baby out. Here are some of the best birthing positions to try. 1. Squatting birth positions. Decreases the need for certain delivery tools, like forceps or a vacuum. Helps with dilation. 2. Reclining birth positions. Can release tension and relax the muscles. May be a good alternative if a woman is tired but doesn't want to lie down completely. 3. Birthing stool positions. Can help baby move farther down. Relieves stress on the back. Can increase dilation of the cervix. 4. Birthing bar positions. Expands the pelvis. Uses gravity to push baby down. 5. Kneeling birth positions. Relieves pain of contractions. Eases back pressure. So today we learned the best labor and birthing positions for you and baby. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe channel.